Now uh, using Linux is uh, something I uh, did of course by choice because it's much uh, safer than uh, Windows. It also has its drawbacks of course, let's be honest about that. Especially uh, when you're using a, a device like this uh, Mayo navigation because, well, it, uh, it is only supported uh, for Windows and uh, Apple uh, users. And uh, I needed to update the software and, uh, well, that caused a problem for me. So I installed uh, VirtualBox, as you can see in this uh, video. And uh, I installed a 90-day uh, trial version of Windows 10. Uh, it's uh, available for free, the links are uh, below the video. And after that I updated the software, but there are some pitfalls and you should be aware of that because uh, if you're not it can be a, a big source of frustration. Uh, it cost me about three hours to find out what setting it was that was causing uh, the problems. So I hope to uh, save you a lot of time by publishing this uh, video. Okay, so uh, I'm having VirtualBox here. Going to import the uh, Windows virtual environment. I've downloaded it from uh, Microsoft. It's free for 90 days. Just click import and uh, it will uh, start installing. It will take a little time. Well, as you can see, I speeded it up a little. I did this on the other installations also, so you won't have to wait all the time. Now let's go to the settings. You will need to change a few things. First of all, I changed the display to uh, 64 megabytes because if it's small, it will be so extremely slow. 64 is the bare minimum. Windows. Now we will need to set the USB controller, USB 2. I also uh, create a snapshot now so I can uh, reinstall the Windows installation without its um, timestamp uh, later on. So I won't need to set it again. So do this before you start it. It will save you some time. The final setting you will need to change is the storage. You will need to insert an uh, empty optical drive. If it's not there already, I'll leave it empty. It will need this uh, for uh, for the USB uh, connection later on. Okay, let's start Windows. As you can see, uh, it's it's a pre-installed version of Windows pre-configured. The password is password with a uh, exclamation if I'm correct. Well you can see it on the desk uh, on the desk uh, desktop. Okay there, there the password is also shown. Now uh, at devices you will need to uh, at the CD drive, run VBox Windows Editions.exe. But that's not the only thing. Okay, let's go through the setup. And VirtualBox is ready. Now you will need to reboot.
windows. Here we are again. Never close it uh, using the uh, Oracle uh, VM box, uh, photo box. Always use the uh, Windows uh, shutdown option. Because uh, if you uh, just click it from the photo box, if you just close it there, it will not save your settings. A little annoying these pop ups. Now go to the devices, USB, and check your USB device. In this case, the Mayo Spirit. If you don't do that, it won't connect. We'll find the software now, download it from the internet, Mio More update. This is the version I'm looking for. And download. Save to disk. Don't worry about viruses or anything. I mean, you can just uh, destroy the uh, virtual box if there's something infected and it will only happen uh, inside that box. It will only have issues for that box, for the virtual box, not for your computer. Okay. Of course we accept. And here we go again. It will need to install a lot of software. I speeded up the, uh, the software installation a little. In the video that is. You'll need the .NET framework. Let's speed up that also. Can't wait for my uh, fiber connection, by the way. I'm now using uh, ADSL. Will be a lot faster. Well, anyway, this works. And we're done. Let's close the internet connection. The Mayo is now, uh, software is now loading. I uh, created the backup from the, uh, from the navigation. And after that, uh, checked for updates and installed them. You can check with the new update button at the top right. But first, you will uh, need to create a backup. That's, that's always a good idea to be safe. Oh, here's a screenshot of it. That was uh, my previous dust version. It will synchronize, that will take a lot of time. And after that you can install. Well, as you uh, could see, I managed to, uh, to fix the issues. And I'm now uh, ready to go. And hit the road again.